I find it pretty difficult to wake up in the morning so my alarm goes off and I press snooze and then I hear my alarm go off again and this happens. The first thing that I like to do in the mornings is roll out of bed like a slug and then open my curtains because then I don't have any excuses on going back to sleep. I'm pretty sure this is what everyone does when they wake up but I just like to check all of my social media sites so I check my Instagram and I also check my Tumblr and just read all my messages and reply to as many as I can and also I check Snapchat because I freaking love all the Snapchats that I get. After a while, I finally get out of bed and put my comfy slippers on because I hate having cold toes in the morning and then I just slowly make my way into the bathroom. There is never a morning in my whole entire life that I will not brush my teeth in the morning. I have to brush my teeth every single morning for at least two minutes. I don't know, I just feel really disgusting if I don't brush my teeth. And then I just like to rinse my face with some water. I don't really like to exfoliate or wash it in the morning only because I already did that the night before. And then I just go ahead and pat my face dry. And I always like to take a little bit of my Clinique toner just on a little cotton pad. And I just rub this all over my face just to get any oils off my face and any moisturizer from the night before. To moisturize my face, I'll be taking the Nivea Pure Natural Daytime Moisturizer and I'll just be patting and rubbing this into my face. And then of course, I'll be taking my Rexona deodorant just so I don't smell throughout the day. And then I am ready for my breakfast. I don't usually have a big breakfast every single day, but today I was feeling really hungry, so I'm just going into the kitchen and making myself a hot chocolate and some poached eggs on toast. So I'm just putting some milk in the cup and then putting it in the microwave for a minute. So for my poached eggs, I just like to put water and a little bit of vinegar in there just for a little tang. And then once the water is steaming, I'll just crack my two eggs in there and wait for that to cook. Meanwhile, I'll just be putting some bread in the toaster and then once it's cooked, I'm going to be drowning it with butter. So after I've taken the eggs out, I'm just going to be going ahead and finishing my hot chocolate and this hot chocolate is so yum. So I'm just putting the powder in there, mixing it up and then adding some marshmallows. Of course, I'll be adding some salt and then you guys are probably going to think I'm so disgusting for putting this much sauce onto my eggs. Oh, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> and on the very rare occasion, I decided to make my bed and then I like to go ahead and turn my computer on so I can put some music on because listening to music in the morning just gets me ready for the day and it just puts me in a much better mood. Then I like to go ahead and choose the makeup that I want and usually I don't wear makeup at all to school but sometimes when I do want to wear makeup this is the look that I usually lean towards. To make sure my makeup stays on all day I'll be taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and then I'll be taking two BB creams, one medium and one darker colour. I'll be mixing them both together just to get the perfect colour and excuse my pimples, they are disgusting. I don't know why they look so bad. Ugh. To cancel out any discoloration under my eyes, I'll be taking my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, just patting that under my eyes with my ring finger, and then I'll be going ahead and setting all of that with my Hello Flawless by Benefit powder, and then following up with my favorite mascara, which is the Benefit Their Real Mascara, and then the Jordana Best Lash Extreme and then following up with some eyebrow products. So I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow just to add some fibers into my brows and make them appear a bit darker and a bit more full. To add a little bit of structure and color to my face, I'm taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade. It gives me sun and this is amazing. I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a new bronzer. And then last but not least, I'll just be putting some chapstick on and then going ahead and putting some dry shampoo on my hair to fix that grease ball. Oh my god guys, please ignore my armpits, they are horrendous. 
All I'm doing today is putting my hair in a high soft bun because I prefer when my hair is out of my face, otherwise it really frustrates me. So to start it off, I'm going to be taking my hair in a high ponytail and then I'll just be taking a soft bun sponge and then putting it in the tip of my ponytail. It's kind of hard to explain but you'll be able to see as I'm going. So I'm just going to put that in there and then roll my hair under the sponge and then roll it all the way down. <laughs> After fiddling around with my hair and just pulling bits out, this is the finished result. It's really easy and simple. And now moving on to clothes. I actually have a uniform for my school, but just say it was free dress day, so it's more interesting. And for the sake of my privacy, I'm just going to be choosing out an outfit. So I picked out this white top that has a really cool pattern on it. It looks like a pillow. It's just a white, like, oversized crop top tee and then just some black leather pants. And I have no idea if this is school appropriate, but whatever. And then I'll just be taking my Converse's, just the classic white ones, and also some high socks. And then we are nearly ready to go. A few essentials that I like to take to school are some highlighters and also a cute pencil case, some lip balm, my headphones, of course, some aspirin or Panadol, a humongous water bottle, and also a cute lunchbox. And then I am out the door and ready for school. So I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you soon. Bye.